Hello and welcome to this learning video. As you all know that in the last learning video we have started with the uh, expectation and variance for joint distribution as well as covariance and followed by we have seen the definition of coefficient of correlation and also the properties of covariance. Now in this learning video what exactly we are going to do is we are going to take the problems on the same topic. Okay, that is variance, expectation and covariance for the joint distribution. So let us take a problem on discrete random variable and in the next learning video we will take an example on continuous random variable. So see here, this is the problem of discrete random variable as x and y are taking the values 0, 1, 2. Okay, so this problem says the joint probability function of a random variable x and y is given to us like this. And we have to find out with the help of this table, we have to find out expectation of x, expectation of y, variance of x and y, standard deviation and uh, covariance and also the coefficient of correlation. Okay. Sometimes this table is given to you that is well and good. You just have to write, pick up the values from this table and just do the calculation. Sometimes this table is not given to you. Uh, joint probability function will be given to you and you have to make this joint probability table. Okay, so see here what we have to find out first, we have to find out first of all the expectation of x and for the joint uh, joint distribution we can find out expectation of x is summation over x into summation over y x into f of x y. Is that? Yeah, this is nothing but the definition. Now what you can do is, you can just take a value of x to be constant and vary the value of y, likewise you can do. So values of x I will take, so value of x is equal to 0 and value of y 0, 1, 2 into x f of x, x f of x, y, okay, plus likewise now I will be stick with the value of x is equal to 1 and will vary the value of y equal to 0, 1, 2, x into f of x, y. Likewise, the value of x to be 2 fixed and vary the summation over y, 0, 1, 2, uh, x into f of x, y. Don't bother about these values because, because what? For x is equal to 0, for x is equal to 0 and y equal to 0, 1, 2. For x equal to 0 and y equal to 0, 1, 2. We have the value 6 by 18. Okay, so it is like x. x is 0. So 0 into f of x, y. That is 6 by 18. Plus, now for x is equal to 1. Y varying from 0, 1, 2. We have the value 5 by 18. So 1 into 5 by 18 plus fix the value of x to be 2 and the f of x, y for y equal to 0, 1, 2 is 7 by 18, right? 7 by 18. So here I got the expectation of x. Here I got the expectation of x to be, can you solve this? 18. 7 to the 14, 14 plus 5, 19 by 18 I am getting as my expectation of x and we denote it by mu x. Simple. So we got the first value, expectation of x as 19 by 18. Okay. Likewise, you can find out expectation of y. Yes or no? So let me find out first of all uh, variance of x because uh, what is my variance? My variance of x is expectation of x minus expectation of x whole square. Is that the definition that we have? Yeah, expectation of x squared into expectation of x whole square. So what I am going to do is, I am just going to find out expectation of x square and then we will find out this. So what is the expectation of x square? Expectation of x square would be like this. 
So no change in this. Just you have to take square of the values of x. 0 square, 1 square, 2 square. And when you solve this, you will be getting the expectation of x square to be expectation of x square to be what is it? 5, this is 4, 7 fours are 28, 30, 33 by 18 is my expectation of x square. Easy? Now I got expectation of x as 19 by 18, I got expectation of x square as 33 by 18, I can find out variance of x. So what is my variance of x? My variance of x is expectation of x square. What is expectation of x square? 33 by 18 minus expectation of x whole square. So it is 19 by 18 whole square. So this is 234 by some values coming. 233 upon 324. 233 upon 324, that is my variance. So this is 233 upon 324. That is the variance of x. Okay? And the very similar lines, now I am going to find out expectation of y. Okay? So what would be my expectation of y? This. So I will keep the value of y and vary the value of x. Just the same y. Likewise, y equal to 2 fixed and vary the value of x 0, 1, 2. So this is it. Okay. So this is 0 into, what is the value we have for y equal to 0? For y equal to 0, we have 6 by 18. For 1, it is also 6 by 18. And for 2 also, it is 6 by 18. Okay. So this is 12 to the... 6 to the 12 plus 6, 18 by 18. So my expectation of uh, this, uh, give me a minute to just check. My expectation of y, my expectation of y is 18 by 18, that's 1. That is my expectation of y. So my expectation of y comes out to be 1. Now, you are smart enough. Then what, what I should find now? I would find expectation of y square. So only changes are these changes, right? 0 square, 1 square, 2 square, 6 four, the 24, 30, 30 by 18, 30 by 18, this is y square, 30 by 18. So that is my expectation of uh, y square, right? Expectation. Uh, of y square is 30 by 18 so you can if you want you can write 5 by 3 also not a big deal okay so you got 5 by 3 now you have expectation of y you have expectation of y square then what you are waiting for you just find out variance of y so what is variance of y expectation of y square which is uh, 5 by 3 and the very nice value comes out to be expectation of y that is 1 so 1 square is 1 so this is 2 by 3 so my variance of y is 2 by 3 now I am going to find out standard deviation for x and standard deviation for y so <laughs> standard deviations are nothing but uh, these values under root of 233 upon 324 and this is under root of 2 by 3 simple right now now we have to find out variance and now I take some uh, calculations to do and then only we can find out the variance covariance sorry what is covariance do you remember the formula for covariance or the definition of covariance. So we will make use of that. For uh, covariance we need expectation of xy into expectation of x into expectation of y. So let us find out first of all 
expectation of x y. Okay. So for this covariance of x y, I need to find out expectation of x y. Now expectation of x y is equal to what is expectation of x y? This is like oh shit. I have rubbed this. Actually, we can manage uh, things over here only. Summation over x, summation over y, x into y into x into y into f of x y. Okay, right? Now just take the values. Now see, it is like x equal to zero, y equal to zero, one by eighty. So this is like zero zero one by eighty. Then x equal to zero, y equal to one. So it is like zero into one into one by nine. Plus likewise zero into two into one by six. So all values we are getting it to be zero. Okay. Then x is equal to one, y is equal to zero. One zero one by nine. Then one one. 1, 1, 1 by 18. Then 1, 2, 1, 2, what is the value? 1 by 9. And then plus 2, 0, 2 into 0 into 1 by 6, 2 into 1 into 1 by 6 plus 2 into 2 into 1 by 18. So if such problem is asked, you are just uh, getting a marks for writing down the things from the table only. Okay, nothing new. So all the first three terms zero, this zero, this zero. So what is it? One by eighteen, two by nine. So I can write it as four by eighteen. Then we have uh, these are eighteen. So this six by eighteen. This is uh, 2 by 6, 1 by 3, plus this is 4 by 18. Okay, so this can be written as this 6 by 18. So what is this? 6, 4, 10, 15 by 18. So my expectation of uh, x, y comes out to be 15 by 18, and 15 by 18 can be written as uh, 5 by 6. So my expectation of x, y, here I am writing. So my expectation of x, y comes out to be 5 by 6, okay? This is 15 by 18, which is 5 by 6. Now I got this values, expectation of x, y. Now I can easily found out the covariance. Therefore, sigma x, y, that is covariance of x and y, is nothing but, what is it? Expectation of x, y minus expectation of x, expectation of y. So what is it? 5 by 6 minus what is expectation of x? 19 by 18 into expectation of y 1. Okay. So what is this? So this comes out to be minus 4 by 18 or minus 2 by 9. So I am getting the value of it to be minus 2 by 9. Okay, so this is minus 2 by 9. And at last, at last, we just have to find out the what? What do you have to find out? We just have to find out the coefficient of correlation. So do anyone remember the definition of coefficient of correlation? So the coefficient of correlation is given by sigma and it is sigma x y upon sigma x into sigma y. Is that? Yeah. So what is sigma x y? Just we have found out minus 2 by 9 upon what is sigma x 2 3 3 by 3 2 4 under root into under root of 2 by 3 sigma x sigma y. Okay. So if this uh, value comes out to be minus 2 into under root of 6 upon 2, 3, 3. 
okay so this is the value i am getting or you can just state whether you are getting this or not if not then do the calculations and uh, if any correction the value of this you can just tell me okay so this is uh, what we have uh, in this example so i hope this is uh, very uh, gettable and i tried uh, to do the things uh, as easy as for you so thank you for watching and have a good day